This is a, a story about Calabash, the drummer, the drummers. Calabash drummers like music, but they are lack of instrument. Calabash drummers, they all attend primary school at Methodist Primary School in the Nima area called Bronx. Bronx. After the school, it have a lot of uh, students, so we run shifts from morning till half past eleven, and then people also come from one to three o'clock or half past three. We go to the school. We like music. The school have a um, instrument. They have bass drum, two snare drums, and then one tom drum. But we we, we don't have an idea of playing it, so we always listen to it. That is, we make a marching song. We sing a song before we, on the parade, before we march to our classes. So we'll be hearing this for a long time. And as you know, Nima is full of culture. Nima is full of culture. All part of Africans live in Nima. You will find Malians, Nigers, uh, Burkina Faso people, uh, Guinea people, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, um, Beni, Togo, Nigerians, all. And then part of Ghana also lives in Nima. So Nima is full of cultural music in terms of funeral, in terms of adoring, in terms of uh, uh, marriage, in terms, uh, a lot of things are going on with different, different kinds of, of music. Drummers all the time get involved to listen to the music. And they always have an idea to play the music, but we don't have instrument. So the drummers, after school, on the way, we came together and said, hey, why don't we go to Dugombola? There is a place called Dugombola. Dugombola, Dogo, means something which is tall. It's called Dogo in Hausa language. I think we have Sao and we have Dogo, but we call that place Dugombola. That is a place where they dump rubbish. And the dump is a big place. They dump the rubbish, that the rubbish is so tall. Like Mount Inafajatu. And so we call it Dugombola. And it's far from our area. So we have an idea. Why don't we go to Dugombola and look for instruments like uh, Milo cans and uh, Overting cans. Milk cans, we don't have an idea of that. We want a big thing which we can play. After school, we make our meeting point. We go to Dugombola. We went and saw a lot of people, those who are looking for uh, bottles are looking for bottles, those who are looking for uh, palm nut seeds are looking for palm nut seeds. All things which can, they can go and sell, everybody, a lot of people on the garbage dumping place. It's a very big place and very tall. We also have our stick going in looking for cans, looking for cans. We found a can, a Milo can. Then we all came out from the place and stand a place and we are looking for something to open top, to try it. A notorious guy is walking from almost about 10 meters to the place. He shout on us, hey, put the can down. I said, put the can down and we say, like, what? We found it in the garbage. We found it and he said, it's for me. 
That belongs to me. Put it down before I will reach there and you don't know what I will do to you. This guy come and I want to take the can from us. So I didn't, uh, uh, Kalabash didn't want to leave the can. So he hold the can and the guy also hold the can. So he pull and he pull, he pull and pull. Then he knock his head. Tuck. Kalabash then shout, scream. Why? We found it is for us and this and he's crying. Looking for help. Everybody's minding his business on the garbage, looking in through the garbages. Nobody will care of you. So in the end, you cry and cry, nobody helps you. You leave the can to the guy. Then this notorious guy warned us, the drummers, that the whole garbage place belongs to him. <laughs> God, he owns, he owns the garbage place. And this garbage place is very big and tall. He said he owns it. Then Kalabash was asking him, yeah, but what about the others who are there? He said, that is none of your business. And you, if you don't keep your mouth shut, I shut it up for you. I said, the old play, garbage place, I own it. So every uh, Milo can or Overting can or Nescafe can, which is big, you will find, belongs to me. What can you say? If you want to challenge, you get beaten up. And it's older than you. It's older than us. Even if we all of the drummers will come together, try to fight him, he will win. So we give up. Give him a gap about 10 meters, go through the garbage. This is where you will find a Milo can or Overton can, then you call him, brother, is this one of yours? Then you come and put it down. Power. He will not even appreciate it and say thank you. He will shout on us, come and put it down. So this is where we have to change our mind to look for milk cans. So we find a milk can and show him, brother, is this? He say you can have that one. We look for milk can. We are about 10. So we look till everybody got his milk can. We find a stick. Start making our music. King, 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 king. This step, if we go everywhere, they shout on us. Hey, noisy. Come on, stop it here. Yeah. We shut up and make a gab a bit and start it again. Our music. This is how they will be shouting on us, on us, on us, till we reach our area. Then there's a small place behind somebody's window. This is where we stand and make our music, and make our music, we make our music. You know this can? It's one tone, and it's a high tone. So this is where we play it with the skin, killing, 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 making the noise, making the music. This is where we make a music about what we eat on Christmas. And it's about 10 months ago. We create a song about who get a chicken leg. And this one we say, I got a chicken wing, and I got a chicken neck. I got a chicken head, we make a song and play and play and play and play. A complaining mother in his room, which we don't know is in his room. What does this mother have to do? Open your in window and tell drummers to leave the position you, you, you are, we are. Simple as that. If we are making noisy, mother, open your window, shout us out. We will go. No, complaining mother will leave us. We make all our noise with our songs and everything. Finish what we want to do. We divide ourselves. Everybody has to go home. This is where you have to go and hide your milk can. Because if you don't do it and you bring the milk can home, your mother has to ask you where you got the milk can. And you have to explain. And the if explanation is not good, ho, 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 ha. Hmm. The price you will pay. You hide your milk can somewhere, go home, sit down as if you didn't go to any dogombola, you didn't go to the garbage place. No. You sit down. This is where this complaint mother comes in to your mother. To come and warn your mother.
to warn you that he doesn't want you to he doesn't want to see you calabash with your group behind his window anymore he tried to sleep he did not get sleep you are noisy and so nonsense song about chicken leg and chicken wings and chicken neck and chicken head and these kind of things so calabash mother one calabash with his group then Kalabash Manda will beg the woman, complaining woman, complaining woman left, and then the mother will ask Kalabash, where did you get the milk can? Then you try to lie, and then you say, look, your possibility is you tell the truth, or I will mash ginger and add pepper to it, and you know what will happen to you. And you know the result already. Only ginger is another trouble. And they will add pepper to it. This is where you tell the whole story. You went to Dogombola, the long rabbit place, and then you find a Milo can, and one boy come and say the Milo can is for him, and took it from you, and then you find a milk can, and then you come and play there. You tell all because of the ginger and the pepper they will mash, and you know the results. You finish, then mom will say, hey, didn't I tell you that I don't want you to go to this drop, uh, uh, drum, dumping of garbage place, this dogombola of yours? Didn't I warn you? Oh, that's where the music starts. The real music, you know. You get music from your mother. You get beaten up, really beaten up. Really, one. You cry and cry and cry and cry and cry that your voice is locked. Now the cry doesn't come out anymore. So you cry in you. And they warn you, stop it before it's too late. Then a drummer have to change school to different primary school. Why? Because of school fees. Parents couldn't afford it anymore, and then they have to bring you to a new school. I don't know what my father went and agreed with the master, that the master accept that Kalabash can come with his sisters to the school. So I went to the school, Mantizayon Pipriti School, with my sisters. And I was in the stage stage three, that is class three. The master is called Master Dobe. So they call the school Dobe School, but the real name of the school is Manti Zion Pretty School. That is where drummer get a chance to play the real drum. Because this master, on every Friday, we will do drama with the Muslims, the Christians, a nice drama. Some people will dress like a chief, some dress like a, a, a I mean, a chief, like a, a, the Muslim chief, and then Christians dress, and then they will make a nice drama. And through the drama, we play music. And then he have the real drums there. He have airway drums, palogo drums, and have the school drum snare drum and a two snare drums and a tom drum and a bass drum so this is where through the drama drama get a chance to play one of the drum the airway drum kagan play the kagan very good we do the drama i took part we start so every two weeks friday we do drama and traditional music and additional, we go to March Pass because every morning we play the snare drums and the bass drum to sing songs to our classes. And then the Friday, some, uh, one of the Fridays, we have to go to March Pass from Dobe School. We walk through the whole Nima and go to the runabout, 10 runabouts. All what the master is doing that is making advertisement for the school so children can come to the school more to the school so we go to march pass march pass watch pass 
One Friday on the match pass, they gave me the snare, one of the snare drum. Marching, playing, going, the teachers we match, and the teachers, one teacher is leading the match, other teachers are in the left side and the right side, and then one teacher in the back west, and then the drummers, we are in the middle, playing, and then they, they are singing songs, marching, we will march through Nima to Nima runabout and turn around. We are marching, going. This is where friends of Calabash will see Calabash and call Calabash through the marching, the queue. Hey, Calabash, Calabash. Calabash here is name and got excitement. Giving skills on the snare drum. Breaks the drum, the leather on the drum. One colleague was shouting, Sir, 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 Calabash break his drum. Calabash break his drum. The teacher will come and say, Come out from the line. You are out. Then you will come and be in the, in the end of the, uh, the queue with him, with your breaking drum on your right hand and your drumstick on your right hand. The same as the way you are playing. Now you are there with your breaking drum. Everybody can see that your drum, the leather has cracked into two. You are walking, walking, going back to the school. This is where you meet notorious boys and girls who can see and they will not shut their mouth out, uh, uh, down or quiet. Hey, he break his drum. Hey, he break his drum. You are walking with, you don't know if you should cry or you should, you don't know. So, and you have the drum on your left hand and your stick on the right hand. This is where you will come there. They will come and complain to the master. Calabash broke the snare drum. The punishment you have is you go through the compound and pick up the papers lying down and the robbers lying down, clean the whole place, go and sit in your classroom. And you know, after the school, going home, you get teased from other girls and the boys because everybody knows that you break your drum. So he, this is where you analyze. Oh, this boy, I can beat him up. If he doesn't know anything, he will tease me, I will beat him up. Oh, this girl, she's a very strong girl. I will, if she tease me, I will know my head because she will beat me up. This is where you analyze some un, uh, unnecessary analyzed things. And you will be get teased after the school. They will tease you till you go home. This is where drama get interest in music that he start to look for his um, instrument, but then he will not go to Dogombola anymore because Dogombola, the garbage dumping place, notorious boys were there. And I don't want to go and work for a notorious guy. If I find a milk can or Milo can or Overton can or a Nest Cafe can, that he will collect it from me. So this is where I walk to Mamobi. We, are, we live in Bakingota. I go to Mamobi. From Mamobi to Akragas, Akragas, I go to the Olympus house, then airport residential area. That is where they have their container, garbage container in front of their houses. Because the cars will come and pick them. I go through garbages and garbages. In the end, I'll find a Milo can, come and make my music with it. I, I like music. So for me, anything which can help me to make music, I don't care how far I will go and look for. I don't care how far I will walk to go and look for that instrument. This is what I'm doing, 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 doing. Got an idea, join a church, start to play on a marakash and bell, transfer myself to the bass drum. This is where I found that in the bass drum. If you play because of the school, of the bass school, because now I'm playing on the real drum, the traditional drums, and I play on the snare and things, I have idea now with the music. So in the church, in the bass drum, I saw that you, if you, the, the more you put your hand on the, the uh, left leather 
and then the the stick big stick with a round you hit it the more you put the sound you bring out and then you know church songs beautiful and powerful i will play and feel okay go home evening time i will go to the fetish people and go and look for a fetish dance there's a fetish dance going on on our area I'll go there and listen to them also. One day I went and then the one playing the small drum, Kakao, fall on trance. She fell, he fell on trance. So the drum was free. I sat on and nobody said anything. I play it and it's all oh, I can play. They allow me to play. So I Sunday morning church, evening time, Sunday to fetish. Place to play. I love music. Then somebody who will, will come and watch the fetish dance and the music will go and complain to my parents that he saw me playing with the fetish group. If it is not good, why were you there to go and watch? If it is not good, why were you there at all for you to see me, to come and complain it to my mother? I will get beating up severely. Why? In our mind, everything concerning fetish or tradition is evil. In what? I don't know. I don't know. For me, I don't have idea of that. Everything concerning tradition, music, or fetish music is evil. So I will get beaten up. But that doesn't stop Calabash. Calabash go to church in the morning, afternoon, 4 o'clock. He's in a fetish place. You know, if he goes home, he will get beaten. No way. Look, I prefer to be beaten every time to go and play. I prefer the beating. I will take the beating and go and do the music. And this is what I'm doing and doing and doing and doing. Hmm. Till 81, 81, I finish primary, then I go to Kotobabi 7 and 8, middle school, on, at Form 1. Then there was a guy in our area, he's called Koshi. You know, in Ghana, they give you a nickname. Like the way they give me a name, Kalabash. And then they give uh, Koshi Mungo Tenere. And Koshi Mungo, and a lot of names. They give you, and then they call, if you have, you have a black skin, if you are dark, they call you blackie. If you are fair in complexion, they will call you red. So every name they give you, you accept it. So Koshi told me that he joined a group in Newtown. If I'm interested to go with him. I said, yeah, I'll be interested. So one evening, he went with me. After the rehearsal, he introduced me to the leader. The leader is called Achuhihi Alolo. They accepted, so every evening we go to the place. But you know, the drummers are many and good. And the dancers are also good. So Kalabash doesn't stand a chance. So all the Kalabash do is stand behind the drummers Sometimes clapping his hand towards the reading. And there's somebody who always chase people to give a, a space because the place is so crowded. So they push people to give a space. And sometimes they push Calabash also among the people. So Calabash was complaining. So all that the leader do, Atuhi Hialolo, is to give a Calabash a, a drumming stick to hold to show the one who is pushing people away that I'm also among. The group time to time they put me on Calab uh, Marrakesh mm -hmm. I played the Marrakesh for about six months then I get a chance to come on the bell the bell I play for two good years but that doesn't give me up and in the school, they also do, you know, there's a, a game called Intako. 
So schools will compete with other schools. There's a music part, cultural music part. There's a, a sport a, a part where people have running and things. And there is also um, a lot of games. So the school who will win in the inter-schools, then we'll go to inter-zones, then we'll go to inter-regions. So music activities is good there. And then the cultural group I am in, people's cultural group, almost about six or seven of us, we are all in K7 and 8. Some are in Form 2, Nobel is in Form 3, Barbara is there, David is there, and, oh, yeah, we are about six in the same school. Koshi is also there, I'm there. So if we come to cultural music, we are there. We are there. And then, through this cultural group, I have a chance to come on TV. Because in 80s, in 80s, they have a, a, a Thursday theater. There's a Thursday theater. Every Thursday there's a theater. Then they have, GBC have something called Children's Zone. So they will bring us, we the young ones, to the TV station, broadcasting, GBC, to the TV station. We perform. They will bring us on TV then. To the first time I get a chance to go, I inform all the area people. Today I will be on television. And you know, in that time, to find a television to watch, it's not easy. The whole area that I am, there is only one house. The place is called Faruku's house. And then the girl is also called Afirua. Their house, they own TV. So we, the area boys, all we will go to watch the television there because I want to see myself and I inform everybody. After the 7 o'clock news, here we come. They show the drummers, show the dancers, do the performance, everything. In the end of the show, they put my face big on the screen. And that's spread in the whole area. People come and pass by and say, hey, yesterday I saw you on TV. How do you come? Why did you join this group? I say, they are in Newtown. I joined them through my friend. I joined them. And this spread. And then time to time on Friday, I am coming on TV. Time to time on Friday, uh, Thursday, I am coming on TV. Coming on TV. And man has to survive. Nima, man has to survive. Because you know, you have to do job to be able to earn some money and support the home and support yourself also. So Kalabash, he go to Nima market and clean the shelter for the market women. After they are closing, you go around 4.30, uh, uh, 4 you clean shelters, have your basket, dump the garbage inside, carry it, and go throw it away. And then the garbage container is in our area, back in Gota. So if I clean the Nima market, I have to carry it all the way to back in Gota to go and throw the garbage away to end like 10, 10 shillings or so. Eh, 20 pesos or so, something like this. 10 pesos and 20 pesos. It's nothing in the 80s. It's nothing. This is the work I do. And they have name for these people. They call them Kayambola. Kayambola is like a, a rubbish dumper, yeah? Like a rubbish, somebody who dump rubbish. But because of art and music, I work this work, I do this work for a long time, nobody ever called me Kayambola. Nobody. Because of what? Art and music, I'm coming on television. Because a lot of people who uh, have a television in their houses, they see me and then if I pass by, they say, Hey, yesterday, you were on television, eh? Oh, good job. Why is this group? I say, they are in Newtown. Wow. So nobody ever called me this Kayambola. No, no, no. I'm free to do every work I want to do. Every work, if it's a dirty work, I do it, nobody called me name. Because of what? Art and music. 
So for me, music is something I don't joke with in my life. Music is what I don't joke with in my life. Because through music, people respect me very much. Though I am the last one of, um, yeah, in our family, we are last concerning the people living there. Because, you know, if I say last, sorry to say we live in Islam. And, I mean, man has to survive. I would do all kind of dirty work. Every dirty work which can earn me money. I do shoe shine. Nobody call me name. I do, I push truck in the Malata market to Nima. Nobody called me bad name. People can see me all the time with my truck, with my goose in the back, going to the Nima market. Nobody called me a name like a truck pusher or what. They used to tease people, but nobody teased me. Because of what? Art and music. Then I joined a security, <laughs> a security job. My first place was Tema Medical, Medical Store. We are the people guiding the Tema Medical Store. I got that place for about three months. Then they pushed me from there to Kaneshi, AMA, where they keep their, uh, their cars, the cars which take the garbage. I got there for two months, and then they take me from there to SIC. Oh, is it SIC? No, 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 it's not. Ah, eh. SCI or something like this. They are in uh, Kaokudi area, going to the airport residential area. I guide there for two months. Then they take me from there to Pantan Hospital. Pantan Hospital, I guide there, guide there for one year. And then from Pantan Hospital, they take me from there to Mokola Market. Mokola market was there, they finish me up and I see that I'm nothing in this world. Sad, eh? You know, the saddest part is that the women and the men who sells in the shelter, they will come and complain to the boss, our boss, that they should not allow people to sell on the pavement. Because if they sell on the pavement, the customers coming to buy, they don't come to the shelter, they will come and buy from the pavement. So they don't get customers. So we should, uh, we should sack them away or we should chase them away. But if you go through, it is the same people who complaining. It is their daughters and their sons who are selling on the pavement and with other people. So how can we know who is whose daughter or who is the, whose son and so if we are chasing them away, we chase everybody away. So far as you are on the pavement, you are not allowed to sell. Then this is where the same woman will come and attack us in our office. Call us names. Names which you don't have to call to a human being. You will hear it. You will hear it. You don't have a choice. The next day you have to chase them away because they are the people complaining that nobody should sell on the pavement. One day they put me in one shelter that I have to guide there and they scared me in my life. They say if I don't live there and I'm standing there, they are going to buy a toy, like a, a door, to put the toy in a, a box and they will go and bury it and if they bury it, I will die. I got scared. I went to my boss, told him that, look, I think now it's getting too far. This is what they told me. He said, oh, no, no, no. It's a joke. They cannot do anything. Go there. Don't allow anybody to sell on the pavement. They complain every time we have to stop them not to sell on the pavement. And then they will call you names and names and names and especially the ladies, the girls at my age. They will call me names and names and names. They call me red because I'm fair in complexion. So call me red. And they will call me red. This insulting is for you. It's for you. There was in the office, if you go to Mokola, there's a, um, a, how do you call, a statue. And it's written, 31st Women Movement. So if you go to Mokola, you know the place. If you know Mokola, you know where. That's our office there. 
we have a place to sit. They will insult and insult and insult. One woman sells next to our office, she's a fanti. Then she will tell me in fanti that, look, I think they love you. That I was like, mommy, <laughs> I don't know what is love, but if this how love, love look like, mm, 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 mm. sometimes they insult me that to eat, even I don't have a taste to eat. It pains me in my heart. But what can you do? This is the job you choose to do, you do that job. But every time I'm on music, I go to rehearsal, I go to performance, I'm doing the security job, but I'm on music. Then they post me to a very special place. A security reason, I cannot say it on camera. So that's where I was guiding and still making music. One day, we perform at the Novo Hotel on Friday evening and Sunday we, pe we will perform in Koklobite because if we go Sunday evening in Novo Hotel, then we go to Koklobite in the uh, Sunday afternoon. Sunday after the Friday, I came back to my duty and then Saturday I was there. Sunday morning I'll get up and I know around 11 o'clock we have to take off. I know the time. A bus will come and take us. To our rear that then we have our rehearsal place, Kusumbo, that's in summer. We have our rehearsal place in Nima Dunia Cinema, Bameyin Gardens. That's where we make a training. So I wake up on a Sunday, something make me go. Something say no, don't go. Something say oh, go. Something say don't go. Something say go. Something say don't go. Then I choose I'll go. So I take my security dress off and dress my normal dress. I walk from Rich to Nima Police Station. In Nima Police Station, I guess two possibilities. I can go behind the police station and come to run about, and I can also walk on the main street to run about. So I don't know where to go. Then suddenly something tells me, walk on the main street. I walk on the main street, I reach Nima and about here my group Kusumbo, they are in a bus going to uh, Kokurubite. I could have missed them if I had passed them at that side. So they saw me and they are like, hey, Kalabash, Kalabash, Kalabash. Then they stop, I join in, see it, Kokurubite. We start our performance around, I think, 2 o'clock, around. Then our first dance we did was... Um, Together we built. There is a drama called Together We Built. Two chiefs who are fighting. They are families, but they are fighting for many years, misunderstanding because of land. And one chief is my father, and one of, one of the girl. He also he have the father for the next chief. So we did that uh, drama, and we make a lot of show. After the performance. Me and my friend called Doji, may he so rest in peace, he passed away. What we do is, every performance, if we are going to join the vehicle, we will plan how to tease the people who made a mistake through the dancing or through the drumming. We tease them in the car. We tease them in the car. Those who, the dancers who make a mistake and the, those who uh, didn't play drum well with me and Doji, we tease them in the car to have a fun in the bus till we are in the rehearsal place in Nima. It depends where we are coming from. So, on, after the performance in Gokurubite, around 7 o'clock there, the 6.30, 7 o'clock, is dark. And in Gokurubite, in those times, 1993, 1993, after 6 o'clock, no vehicle, no public vehicle is working there anymore. There's no public vehicle working there. After 6 o'clock, they are all closed. So if you don't come with your private car, then it's not easy for you to get a car to go back to Accra. So as we came from the beach, we went and rehearsal what we would tease the people in the car. And in additional, we know we went and say goodbye to the sea. 
And if you know what I'm talking about, we went and say goodbye to the sea. <laughs> so we came back and then we saw two white ladies, young girls, and then the workers at the Kokrobite Hotel argument in front of the bus. So I came and asked our leader, the late Richard, He's also, he also passed away. I said, hey, Richie, what is going on? He said, yeah, they say these two white girls, we, uh, we have to bring them to, and drop them at Circle. Because they don't have a vehicle to go to Accra. That's why we have argument. The car is full. Where are they going to sit? Then I said, look, you know, for me, I don't sit down. I will make a joke till we reach our Reza place in Nima. So I will offer my seat to them. They can have my seat. And then Doji also said, yeah, 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 I also uh, offer uh, uh, my seat to them. So the leader agreed. We all sat in the bus. And then they sat there. And then even the, some of the uh, musicians, the dancers, they, we make a space. In the end, we were all sitting on the, the first roll. And then we start our jokes. We crack jokes and tell the dancers the mistake they did and that. And then funny in the car, they also feel happy. We reach uh, Bite, uh, we reach Circle around maybe yeah, 10, 11, 10, 11, we reach there. Then I watch these young girls dropping down in Circle. Then I say, look, I learned you say you don't have money. He said, yeah, we spend all our money. We thought we would get a public transport so that we will charter the taxi and bring the ta taxi to campus. We stay in Legon campus. We have money at, uh, at the campus. Then we can pay the driver, but not, the vehicles are all closed. And I say, you know something? I wouldn't like you, the two of you, to get down here in circle. I'm not happy. One, you don't have money. Two, you don't know the driver you are going to take. Come with us to Nima, to our rehearsal. I will look for a taxi driver who I know, and the person will bring you to the campus, and you pay the person. Is this okay for you? Then they say, okay, we like it. Then I say, you can also go and see our rehearsal place, and anytime you are looking, you want to see us, you can come and watch. Then they say, okay. Then we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. We reach the Nima. Here's our place, we take off our instrument, we all have a prayers, we have to go. Me, Doji, and Koshi, Mungo, we are walking with the ladies, we are showing them Nima, this area is called here. They, say, they also saw Nima and they are interested, you know. They see that, wow, because they live in campus. From campus they go to Accra. So now we bring them to the real, real, uh, I would say Ghana, Ghana. <laughs> oh God, oh God. <laughs> Bring them real Nima, you know. We go, we show them areas and things. And then, after about two hours, around 12 o'clock, 12.30, they start to complain. We are thirsty. We would like to drink Coke. Hmm. What problem these girls want to bring? Nothing could be. Who is buying them the cook? All the three of us, nothing could be. Not one person in our pocket for us to say, oh, let me go and buy you cook. So we ignore them. But time to time, they still keep on complaining. Peter, we, I, we want to drink. We want to drink cook. We are very thirsty. We don't have a choice, so we have to bring them to a spot in our area, Bakingota. There's a place called Bob Mali. He his spot is open till 4 o'clock in the morning. I think be, till the Muslims will call their first prayers, he will stop them. This man, I own this man. And he is the only place also we can go. There's no place I can go except this place. And I, I own this man. So as we enter inside the spot, I let them sit down. The man saw me and said it in their way. Is that you? Is that you? Where is the money? Then I say, please, don't disgrace me. I respond in their way. 
Don't disgrace me. I'm working with uh, strangers. Look, this the white ladies there. I'm working with them today. We perform at Kuprobite, and then we, we are going to they want to come and see our Reza place. They live in Legon campus and they are thirsty, they don't have money on them. So please help me to buy some drink for them. They will come and pay next day. They will come and pay. They don't have money on them. I even have to look for a, a taxi to bring them to the campus. So please don't, don't disgrace me. It was like you again. You again, and what they want to drink? Then I went and asked them. They said they want to drink shandy. They want to mix sprite to beer. Then it's like a shandy. So then we took some uh, sprite and beer, and then they mix it up. We also get a chance to drink a bit. Went and looked for the taxi driver, who I know brought them and I told the taxi driver you should watch where they stay in campus so that if we don't they don't come back we can go and look for them. But the bad side was that as the taxi driver went to the campus they say after six o'clock they don't accept a taxi who is not wo working on the compound to enter in the compound. So they stop the taxi driver on the gate and they have to take the taxi and go to the uh, hall, the hall they stay. So the taxi driver went with them, with another taxi, get his pay, and the taxi brought him back and he took his taxi and came. So the next day I saw him and say, hey, how did he go? Did you find the place they stay? He said, no, 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 no. We took another taxi to the place, so we were conversing, I couldn't find the place they stay. So you cannot remember where they stay. He said, no, I can't remember. Okay, they will come. Monday, we went to Riazal, they will come, Tuesday, they will come, no. Wednesday, they will come, no. Thursday, no. Friday, no. We have two break, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, Saturday and Sunday, no Riazal. Till Monday again. Two weeks, no face. Me, my debt is there. I don't go and pass that place for two weeks now. I don't want to appear there. Don't want any confrontation. So my friend Doji, he came to me one morning and said, hey, Kalabash, do you know something? I have money on me, but we can only pay for the vehicle from 37 to Legon. So we have to walk to 37 and then I can pay for the two of us to go to Legon. But if we go and we don't find them, we have to walk back to Nimao because that's the only money I have. So we say, okay, we go. We walk to from to test seven. We took a test seven car. But one thing that our leader, Atui Hialolo, is is in the dance ensemble with a lot of uh, Ayawaso uh, artists who are now in dance ensemble. Abu Mushuto is there, Memuna, Pierrette, oh, many of them, they are all there. Patience, a peace, and Sister Karu, they all, they were all there. So we went and saw Achu, my leader. He's still also in Kusumbu, but he's in that ensemble also. Then we tell him the whole story about these ladies and say, what's their name? We don't know their name. We only remember one is called Naija and one is called Gabriel or something like that. He say, which of the world are they? The hall, not world, hall. Which of the hall they are? We don't know which hall. So he decided that we should go to Volta Hall. That's where the foreign students are mostly staying. We went to Volta Hall. They asked where they come from. We say they know they come from Switzerland, but we don't know their name. They watch in the list because Achu have his ID card so that people know that he's working at a uh, dance ensemble, the National Cultural Group for the Ghana National Cultural group is among so we have his ID card so they watch and they didn't say we room the whole halls nowhere to be found these ladies hey so we are going to walk from Legon to Nima and still we didn't pay the debt I was worried then as we get into the dance ensemble rehearsal place I asked my leader Achu I say Achu we call him Sogrovi. I say, Sogro, there is a place called like my name, Mensa. Mensa. 
Then he was like, yes, Mensa Sabah Hall. Mensa Sabah Hall. I said, yeah, did they say something like they live in Mensa, like my name, Mensa? He said, yeah, Mensa Sabah Hall is just here. Ah, why did you not say it in the beginning and you make us room for hours looking for them? Mensa Sabah Hall. Then we went to Mensa Sabah Hall. We are so dirty on the foot that the security man won't allow us even to near the hall. So he saw that our leader, he has his ID card, so he called the leader and the leader went in and tell him then, the leader asked us from far, what's their name? And I said, we don't know their name. They said, what country did they come from? He said, they are coming from Switzerland. Then the security man watched in the list and said, yeah, we have two ladies coming from Switzerland, but you, you can go up. You, you don't, you are not allowed. Stay where you are. So my leader, Achu, they accept him and he went out with the security man and then went and tell the, introduce my teacher to the girls. What we hear from the top was screaming, <laughs> with crying. They came down and hugged us. Hugged us, start to cry. They invited us up, they begged the security man, the security man allowed us, they invited us to their room in the hall. Take a taxi, we chatter a taxi, only four of us inside. We went, the first thing I told them, like, look, can you help me to go and pay the debt? They were like, oh, the drink we drink, we didn't pay. He said, no, 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 we didn't pay. So we went to the man, he saw me, one shot, we brought the money. We brought the money. He, they pay and pay my old debt additional. So we became friends with these two girls, just friends, and if we are going to uh, perform somewhere they like. And one is studying theater science, ethnology and theater science. The, uh, the, all of them, uh, ethnology, theater science. So they like our performance. So we travel with them to Assesiesu, to uh, Ujura Festival, and then Tigali Festival. We travel with them there and there and there. They became our good friends. Then, one time then I told them that, hey, do you know that there will be Kepko's festival? In two weeks, there will be Kepko's festival. You say you are ethnology students and you are making theatre science. This festival will be interest for you. If you want to know, you have to make your research and ask your professor, maybe he will tell you more. So this is what they did. They did a research about it and they tell them it's a nice place to go and things. So they came and then asked me, they want to go to Kepko's. If I would get a chance to go with them, then I said, no, my work, I cannot go with them, but I can direct them. The time they want to go, I cannot go because I cannot go for one week. Whew, lose my job. So I told them, no, my cousins are there. We have our house there. My families are there. So I give them my cousin's name who lives in London Bridge, Cape Coast London Bridge. I give them the name the location, everything, if they go to London Bridge, they should ask of this person's name and then the person, they will bring them to my house. So, come the security man knows me already, he knows me. Then he said, oh, your people left too. They said they are going to Capcos. They even left a note on their door that if you come, you can see. They went to Capcos. This morning, they left to Capcos. They said there will be a fetish dance this Thursday evening, so they want to see that I dance, so they are gone. They say you, they are going to your cousin. Then I say, okay, nothing could be, where is the money to go to Kepkos? Where is the money to go to Kepkos? Hmm. Aye, aye, aye. This is where I have to go to my mother, is the last hope. So I went to my mother and tell my mother the whole story to give me some money to go to Kepkos. My mother said, no, you own me and own me, you never pay. You get your pay, I don't see you in the house. You finish your pay, you come and worry me. I begged the old lady, oh, oh, do, uh, my mother, and begged my mother till my mother gave money to Calabash to go to Kepkos. So what I will do is, I have to go and ask permission 
we are two people guiding the place. So I went and asked permission to my other colleague and say, look, he don't say anything in the office. I'm going just for two days. I'll be back. So okay. I went to Cape Coast. I went and met them. Then they told me a story that as they came, they came with my name, Peter. And in my family, nobody know me as Peter. All know me as Kofi Mensa. And then they came. So in the end, what big day, lucky of my cousin have my driving license. So he showed my picture to them and they said, yeah, this is the guy. That's what make them, they accept them. And they live in the campus. In Cape Coast campus, uh, 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 campus, yes. So through the festival, they like it so much. We were there Thursday, Friday, Saturday was the big occasion. Sunday, I left them and come to Accra. And then love came. And then I got invited to give a lecture at the University of Vienna, Japan Knowledge, Ethnology Institute. Ethnology Institute. 94, I was in the University of Vienna, give lecture for three months, come back, invited again for three months, come back. I did that for three years. Till I moved to Austria, from Austria to Switzerland, and till now, lecture, teaching, lecture, teaching, from kindergarten to university. So, in the end of my story is that all the jobs I did, I still do music. If I'm in Tema, I will come for rehearsal. If I'm in Pantan, I will come to rehearsal. Everywhere, the music, I am on it. You don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. Or you don't know who you are going to be. Because now, since 90. Eight, ninety nine, and since yeah, 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 yeah. If I go with my families to the Nima market, this is where people are sharing tears. Why are they sharing tears? It's a joy of tears because chances are they couldn't believe it. They call themselves, hey, Awonye, Awonye mean, hey, madam, madam, did you know Red? Red, the one who cleans our shelter. You look, look at him now, look at him now. Yes. If I go to Mokola, the same people who were giving me names, they call me, hey, Red, Red, is that your family? I say, yes, till now. If I will be in Ghana with my family, instead of booing, or instead of shouting, hey, they rather give me fans. Hey, right, right. You don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. That's why my name is Korea. Korea means Kalabash. And Kalabash is a term which we use in our household if you take good care of it you can use it till your ancestors from your ancestors to the grandchild but you don't know how to use it end up let it need fall and have a crack and you have to stitch it and if you stitch it it's not the same as the beginning you always see the mark on the calabash or on the courier and then you will remember why you let it fall and get this stitch on the calabash and if you are not lucky and the calabash fell and break into pieces 
It's gone. You don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. That's why for me, music, art and music, I don't joke with it. Don't let situation put you in a place that you end up shorting your life. You don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. This is why as I arrived in Europe and got opportunity in a studio owned by Robert Chonia, popularly known as Sir Roberto, to record my traditional music, I did a song called Kra Kutu, that means Kalabash God. And the song is you don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. I got this reading from the Kasina Nankani Brinsha Ngrunsi from the Upper East region of Ghana. And then I play all that rhythm I heard from them with calabashes, different size of calabashes. I put different size of calabash, calabashes in a container, plastic bowl, four different size of eight to use it as a xylophone. Then I use a half of calabash on a pillow to give me a sound, different sound. Then I use the calabash gourd itself to give me the message. Then I add bamboo flute to attach to it. Then I use, I don't know how to call it. You know in Africa, if the women want to appreciate you, they do a sound. Hey! And then the men, if they are dancing, they are doing click sound from their throat. Mm -hmm. They are doing all sorts of things. All this is sound effect. I put all in listening to it. It's telling you, you don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. Don't be frustrated and end up your life short. Don't let situation put you in a place that you don't want to be. Concentrate, appreciate yourself. Go on doing everything you want to do to make your life benefit. Share it to other people. Don't keep your knowledge in your head. You end up going away with all the knowledge without teaching others to follow your footsteps. You don't know who you are going to be tomorrow. Listening to the song, P-J-K-D-A-K-A, Carry on.